YouTubers, this is your boy Amari Points here. Today I'm doing my latest movie review on, you guessed it, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. As you can see by my shirt, I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt. Okay, this movie takes place years after Star Wars Revenge of the Sith and a few days before Star Wars A New Hope. This movie basically explains how the Death Star plans were stolen from the Empire. It was led by a small persistent group of rebels calling themselves Rogue One. Sorry about that. And we also get to learn a few things about... I apologize for the all the interruptions. We also get to learn one... We also get to learn the backstory of one rebel named Jin Erso. At first, she isn't really fond of the rebels, but when she learns that her father actually created the Death, most of the Death Star by that she created most of the Death Star by from Cassian Endor played by Diego Luna and his droid K2SO she is determined to find out where her father is and where and how he and how to defeat the Death Star. Basically, and they also encounter a few other people named Chirut Imwe, a person, a, a guy who is blind who also believes in the Force. In the Force. <laughs> I can't speak today. I apologize for that. And Baze Malice, one who basically doesn't believe in the Force. He's pretty much a kind of badass guy. The effects for this movie were, I saw this movie and I have to say I was blown away by it. Even though it's not episode 8, that's right it's not, we got we still gotta wait until next December to see it. it. I think this is a perfect way of, this movie explains perfectly how, how basically the how basically the rebels got the Death Star plans, but there is a sm and, it, and it also shows the small flaw in in the Death Star. So I'm not going to spoil it and say where because I know most of you didn't see Star War Star Wars A New Hope just yet, but I highly recommend you get on that. We also get to see, we also get to see a few Easter eggs in this movie some familiar faces from the prequels, the original trilogy, and Star Wars Rebels. I'm not going to say what what from Star Wars Rebels is in this movie. You just got to go see that for yourself. I'm sorry if I'm saying it mean. I'm just saying it because you guys got to see the movie for yourself to see what other stuff is in what other people, familiar faces we see in this movie. But all in all, this movie was perfect. So was the main villain, by who was played by Ben Mendelsohn. Direct his name. The villain's name is Director Director Krennic. I apologize for that. He was played by Director Krennic, and he wants to basically move up. He wants to move up. Uh, to the Empire ranking because he wants to take credit for most of the work that was done on the Death Star and base and I think who wouldn't who wouldn't want to take credit for building an awesome weapon and also we get to see a lot of action in this movie in the outer space with the TIE Fighter and the X-Wings that kind of blow my mind away as most of you saw in basically like the previews we see a lot of epic battles in outer space especially especially when it comes to Star Wars you already know we're going to see a lot of cool amazing battles but what could have been great is that they could have at least done even though they're introducing a new group of characters I realized that, that most of them didn't have like back back stories 
that's what kind of made me upset. I really wanted them to do more. I really wanted them to show more of the, the new characters' backstories. But considering it's kind of like a new Star Wars movie, I'm guessing the directors didn't want to do that. Because they didn't want to like make it a really long movie. But with Jin, with Jin's backstory, we realize that she's been on her own since she was like 15 years old. Which, I'm kind of surprised, most 15 year olds would have been scared without their parents. But Jin, but Jin Urso, she is not like the most 15 year olds. She knows how to stand for herself and she doesn't need like protection. All in all, I think this movie was a perfect way of explaining how everything came to be, like the Death Star and all that. We also get to see a few scenes with, you guessed it, Darth Vader. I don't want to spoil which scenes we see you guys will see him in, because I know you w you'll want to see that for yourself. And the actors in this movie, Felicity Jones as Jin Urso, she she basically fits this role perfectly because basically she she honestly knows how she knows how to stand for herself she knows how to fight and when it came to stealing the Death Star plan she was ready to put her own, her own life on the line for that and Diego Luna as Cat Cassian Endor I only seen him basically in the Book of Life voicing voicing Manolo Sanchez be and this is basically the first movie actually first live action movie really that I seen him basically do all cool cool amazing stuff in. His acting is pretty good but somewhat iffy. I wanted him to like be in more scenes with uh Jin because I could tell there was some hate between them but in the end they kind of blossomed into a good friendship and also Donnie Yen as Chirut he actually I loved his acting in this movie but what could have been great is that I he could have at least tried to like do more fighting scenes in this movie he also what I love most about his character though is that he believes in the force even though he's not a Jedi, he still believes in it. He prays, like, there's this saying, he is one with the Force, I can't remember the rest of it. Though he actually does believe in the Force with all his might. And, who else? Wen Jang plays Baze, who plays Baze. I loved how much of a badass he is in this movie, and he kind of has like that tough guy act like where he doesn't basically care about anyone at first but he's but when he joins the rebels he is fighting for a cause he's fighting to stop the empire like most of the rebels are and Alan who voices K2SO we all seen him as Hey Hey King Candy and the Duke of Wesselton this I I loved how he voiced he voiced this character in this mo in this movie, and he brought this character to life. Even there were some funny moments with the droid, with him uh, voicing the droid too, which were pretty hilarious. And who else? The guy that was playing Jin's father, Galen Urso, Matt. Even though we didn't see him much in this movie, it would have been nice to actually see more of him. It would have been nice to actually see more of his character. Because we only see him for a short brief time. Uh, some, some of them in, during, well, the beginning of the movie and some in the middle. I wanted to see, they could have at least tried to show a little bit of him they, sh they could have at least shown more of him because basically 
he did make s some of the Death Star. They, it's only fair that they show all of him. That's what really bugs me the most. And Ben Mendel, meh, sorry, I can't say the last name. Ben Mendelsohn as director K Krennic. He actually, I loved, I loved seeing him as a bad guy, even though this is my first time seeing him. He fits this role perfectly because he is honestly trying to go out all out all the way to work his way to the top to get to the ranking of the Empire to be in it to be in the Emperor's favor aside from Dark Vader. He all he wants to do is be recognized for the work he put in. And that's basically that's basically not bad. I mean who wouldn't want to be recognized for creating such a big and awesome weapon? I mean really I mean, he, he honestly is really trying, he is honestly really trying his best to work hard, to be recognized, and I can't really blame him on that. And on to the ranking. Give me one minute. Stay with me, YouTubers. It'll always take a second. I give Rogue One a Star Wars story and a plus because this movie had amazing graphics and they made they cast the perfect people to play in this movie as well which I'm not which basically with uh, sorry which is a good thing because we didn't want to see like no normal Playing actors play play in this mo play in this movie. We wanted to see actors who can who could fit this role pretty well, and what and also the graphics for this movie really blew my mind. I want I I was when I walked into this movie, I knew I was gonna be expecting a lot. I was going to be expecting a lot from it. The graphics, the TIE Fighters, and much, much more. I am really glad to be a diehard Star Wars fan. And I hope, and I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people were thinking, is this episode 8? I'm like, no, it's not. You gotta wait until next year to see episode 8. And that wraps up my movie review. Don't forget, and uh, sorry guys, that wrap that wraps up my last movie review of 2016. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with everyone you know. And leave, a, and I hope to see you guys next year in 2017, doing more great more. more uh, so, my bad. I'm tongue tied today. I hope to see you guys next year in 2017 with more movie reviews on my channel. Take care and God bless. May the force be with you. Peace.